What's going on guys, it's Sunday Backyard Farmer. Now I'm heading to a place to pick up um, some rain barrels. So barrels I'm gonna use for rain to catch some of this rain water. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me real quick. Coming with their dad to get some dirt. So you get some dirt. Nick here say get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. All right, guys. So here's the different barrels and the different prices. So these here contain pickles. No chemicals, and they have a removable tap that comes off like this. And then this comes off. If you look inside, you might see some pickle juice. Gotcha. So these are popular because they are black, so they're gonna block out the sunlight so you don't get as much of the uh, algae growth. Uh -huh. And also you can get inside to clean it out as, uh, from time to time, uh -huh. as well as install any kind of spigots, etc. Okay, I think I'm gonna get two of those. I do also sell ones up here that come already with the spigots installed. You didn't oh, to okay. Have to do that. I have them in this type here. Previously contained olives. It'll have a similar lid that'll come off, but it comes already with this already done. Got you. And we use quarter turn valves, so you can go from on to off quickly without having to spin it 20 times. Got you. And then you can get one like this, it comes with a screen. So if you were to have your gutter drain here, the mm -hmm. screen blocks out the leaves, pollen, and mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And then it also vents it so you get higher flow. If you have air going in, oh, the water will come out sense. faster. But these are ones that come already done. A lot of people opt for this option because by the time you buy one down there for 50, and then spend say 15 bucks for this piece, and 15 bucks for the valve, you're gonna spend 80 bucks anyway. Gotcha. You can buy one for 80 already done. Gotcha. We also sell larger ones. With the larger ones, you get more flow. So you can see how the water comes out of here faster. Yeah. Than here. Gotcha. And you have higher capacity. And these are brand new barrels. They've never been used. Mm hmm. I think I'm still gonna, I'm gonna stick with that for right now. Okay. How many would you like? Uh, I'm gonna get two. Cool. So if you want to pull the car down here, I'll load you up down this way. Okay. If you're at a hundred bucks and we take cash, cash that Venmo or sell. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go, guys. We got the barrels. I'm going to show y'all they're on Facebook Marketplace. I'll show you the sign where you can uh, locate them. They got tons of barrels. 10, IBC coats. barrels in stock. 10, 50 different oh, types. 10,000 barrels in stock. 50 different types. And um, this is quick and easy and not far from me. So what's your name, sir? Mike. Mike? Yep. I appreciate you, Mike. Thanks for helping me out. Cool. And Thank we'll you. be back to see Subscribe you. Subscribe and click the notification button up here. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>
with the dude. So if, if you don't want to do the kit, like the guy said, they had them already ready for 80 bucks, but I wanted to do the kit and I wanted to get two. So that would have cut in my budget. So they used to be like 40 bucks for these um, containers, but everybody know everything is going up. So I wanted to stay on hundred dollars for the actual containers. I'll go on Amazon and at least I can show y'all how you're supposed to install the spigot and everything like that. So it's, it's worth doing it this way for me, just to be able to show y'all that. So as soon as we get the kit in, we'll bring you guys along and uh, show you how I install this kit. All right guys, we got some stuff. Hopefully you can hear me. We got some stuff, let me show you real quick. So I'm gonna sit the barrels on this. We got some cinder blocks. We're gonna try to keep um, keep up with the budget on this um, water catchment system. So we got this right here to drill a hole in the barrel, in the bottom. And that's for this to be able to fit in. Right here, the spigot. Also, I got some screen. I got some aluminum screen for mosquitoes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use that for the top of here to keep bugs and insects and all types of other stuff out of the rain barrel. So I'm gonna modify the top for that. I got this also to go ahead and get any leaves or big debris that comes through the gutter before it even gets to the screen. So I like the lids on here. I left the ring outside to tighten the lid down, but as you see, it has a rubber gasket. So it can be sealed tight. I'm going to drill holes through here and put the screen, attach the screen to this to um, stop the debris from going down in there. So I'll show you guys that as well. So we're gonna turn this thing on the side so we can see where we're gonna exactly drill a hole, make sure it's as close as we can get. And also, I got some silicone. So yeah, it's a silicone tube. So I'm put some extra protection on that uh, spigot just to make sure that it doesn't have any leaks. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get started. So Josh, you know the only reason this is in the house is because my wife is out of town. But this this barrel tapers, so I don't want to put the um, spigot on the slanted part, so it's going to have to be pretty high. It's actually going to have to be higher than what I would like because it's probably going to be, I feel like three, probably more than three gallons that I'm not going to be able to utilize, so I'm probably just going to have to deal with that. Um, I'm probably going to have to bring the spigot lower just because I don't want a crazy downward angle but it's definitely, yeah, it's gonna have to be down here, guys. We'll leave a little space for any type of trash or debris that may get in here. So, we're gonna get ready to drill that in. So there's the hole. All right, guys, so I think the bit I have is too big, but we're gonna make it work. And if it don't work, we're just gonna go up on size. They got adapter pieces that um, is no big deal. It probably cost you a little more money, um, five to 10 extra dollars, but we won't waste this barrel. So our brother broke, got his live going on, so I'm multitasking. So if you don't hear me um, respond back, it's because I'm doing this video. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to be a smart man and come outside. Cause I know, I, you know, my wife got to see the video. So <laughs> got to get this out the house. I'm gonna slip this in from the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on there. And I'm gonna let this cure overnight before I add any water especially since this hole is bigger than what it needs to be. So we're just gonna be 
and we're gonna be extra with it. I'm gonna hold nothing dang you back. So, get it on there good. I'm gonna put a little on this side too. Got a little bit on there. All right, so you guys can see it. I don't like the way it looks, to be honest with you. I just hope it don't leak. I don't like all the uh, excess. Don't leak. It's all money. Show you guys on the inside how that looks. I know it's upside down, probably. And like I said, this was used for pickles, so it's food grade. All right, guys, I just recorded a whole bunch of nothing. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. We're gonna put multiple holes in here. Hopefully, when we got a good ring it would actually um, flow pretty good. And the reason this is taking long, I'm going in reverse. I'm starting forward and then I'm going in reverse so to make a cleaner cut. Um, of course, if y'all familiar with Lead Farmer, this is the way that he recommends you do plastic. It's just a cleaner way to do it. So I got my mesh. I'm gonna sit right here and hopefully I don't have to do nothing fancy. Hopefully we can screw it. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm gonna have to do it the opposite way. Let's check it out. Now that works. That works. That works better. And this is just a quick, quick situation. So I'm gonna just trim this down a little bit to make sure that the cap will fit on here. It's getting a little dark out here. Now I need to hurry up. Let's see. All right, we're gonna cut it. I haven't seen this stuff in years, you know. My grandma, uh, patio front door, you know, screen door, they call them, will have a whole bunch of patches of this stuff <laughs> when somebody don't poke the hole through the screen. That. Here she go. So we got this, we got the screen to catch stuff and to keep bullets out. And let's show you the first line of protection. So this is just basically gonna pour and fill this area up and drain down. So this is to divert the leaves and big debris to just go out while the water still can go down and flow through. So this gotta go in the gutter. Okay guys, this is the setup on this gutter. As y'all know, I keep saying, this is the gutter that produces the most water for some reason. So it's just dumping directly in here. You can see the screen to keep the bugs and everything out. This is for the leaves, but the water should go straight down into the rain barrel. Now, I may have to lift it up just a little bit, but you see, I can still get a bucket up under the bottom. So yeah, I still got to incorporate the other one 
into this. I still got to sit the other one up on blocks like this one. And it looks like it's about to rain right now. So yeah, it's cloudy guys. We're gonna see if we can catch a look. Action. Oh, it's already overflow. Let me show you guys. This thing worked crazy. So it's already overflowing. So I'm gonna dump this over here to relieve some some from the top. So drain some, create more room. down a little bit but it's filling it right back up guys there you go wow we gotta hook the other barrel up guys it just started raining I'm still filling up still filling up buckets guys Coming steady. That up. Top that all the way off. Build that one up. That one. And this one. And that's gonna be all she wrote. Gee, here. Ain't got no complaints. I just need to hurry up and get the other kit to connect the other barrel. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need two more barrels. So it actually, it actually really stopped raining hard. Well, it really wasn't raining hard. It's like, it's not really raining. I mean, it's raining, but the noise you hear of cars right on the road, but I mean, like look, you got all that water coming from the gutter. So, we got an update, guys. But you know, until next time, enjoy your family, and make sure you get us some dirt, guys. <laughs> some dirt! Later, guys. <laughs>